Hello, everyone, and welcome to this presentation of your last chance to learn the secrets of a stock specialist. Welcome. My name is Stephen Primo, and the reason why we call it, it it being your last chance in that we're going to be starting our college, our new stocks uh, college, where we're going to teach you all the techniques and strategies that I've accumulated and learned, especially things that I've learned from the floor over 40 years ago when I was trading on the trading floor. In fact, let me give you a brief example of what we're going to be sharing with you, especially in today's presentation. If we look at this chart here in Watt, W-A-T, we see that someone looking at this would say, well, we are in a range. There's real no clear cut pattern as to where we're going to be going. And I've always been taught to stay out of ranges. And uh, this is where you get whipsawed. And the guy that I follow in the uh, signal service doesn't like this stock. So I'm not going to be doing anything. I, I think actually this should be looked at from selling point of view. I'm going to show you a technique that is so simple and easy to use that you would have known as early as right here, just off this simple pattern, that you should not be, in fact, selling, that you should be looking for buy signals. And this was in the beginning of the year in January. And as you can see, the stock has continued to go up until the first week of June. So this is a simple technique. One of the techniques I will be teaching in the stock college and one of the techniques I will be revealing to you today. So welcome once again. This promises to be a great educational presentation. As I stated earlier, my name is Stephen Primo, president and founder of Specialist Trading. If you're new to my presentations, we are strictly an educational company. That's all we're trying to do. We're a little bit different from other presenters in that we're not going to uh, you know, tell you what the perfect system is. We're not going to tell you what the perfect market is. We don't believe in that, in fact. In fact, it's our belief that no two traders should ever trade alike, that we should uh, basically start out with a sound format, but then work out from there. The reason I say this is because I've been trading for a total of 40 years. I started my trading career on the floor of the Pacific Stock Exchange. I was on the floor for 16 years. Nine of those years, I was a specialist. That's where we get the name specialist trading. And I made markets in roughly about 50 or 60 stocks. I made markets during the crash of 1987 and the bull market that followed. So I've seen and traded just about everything there is. I've traded through every market environment. I've traded every system, every method. I know what works in terms of a consistency and I know what doesn't. But there's one thing I've taken away from my four decades of trading is that you should never try to mimic or follow another trader. That really is a recipe for a disaster. Unfortunately, our entire industry is based on that. We're always taught, OK, you have to trade this perfect system. This will uh, make you a millionaire or make you an independent, uh, independently wealthy or this perfect market is what's going to do it for you. And, uh, you know, we all come with all these hopes and dreams to the market, myself included, when I first started trading and nothing seems to work out. In fact, it's been estimated that upwards of 80 to 85 percent of all traders fail. And I think this is one of the main reasons is because so many traders are basically just giving your power away. You're relying on someone or something else to tell you how to trade. I mean, look at your own trading decisions. Do you go to a chat room or a trading room or read a daily blog of what someone thinks the market's going to be doing? Do you listen to the, uh, the uh, pundits on TV telling you what the interest rates are, or what the new announcement's going to be? Or do you rely on uh, interest rates or earnings? You know, all those things are outside sources that are determining how you'll trade. Now, my mentors saw that I was doing the same thing. And they said, Steve, what you have to do is throw away all of that, what they called useless noise, and focus on the thing that is generating the signals. And that's the market in front of you. Forget all the other things. And once I started to do that, my trading started to come around. So this is what I teach to all of our students and members around the world in over 110 countries and in virtually every state of the United States, all the tips, techniques and strategies I've accumulated and that I continue to use to this very day. So I'm going to share with you what's going to be included in our stock college. I'm going to share with you a couple of the rules to some of our strategies and, and that technique I, I showed you just a few seconds ago. But before we begin, as always, we are first required to show you this by law. So please take a moment to view our disclaimer. I'm going to show you a lot of performance results, a lot of different charts, things that happened within the last week. But please remember that we can in no way guarantee that any of the results I'm about to share with you will be repeated. Once again, we're required by law to show you this. So as you're taking a brief moment to view our disclaimer, I would also like to take this time to invite each and every one of you to follow us on Twitter. You may want to copy our handle right there at SPCLSTTRADG. I post different information on a daily basis. In fact, just a, a couple of days ago, I posted that a couple of our uh, e-mini strategies had generated buy signals in the market. 
and the E-mini quickly went up uh, roughly 15 or 20 points or about $1,000 per contract after that. So uh, these are signals that our strategies generate. I also post little bits of wisdom along the way. So there's lots of great free information, uh, educational information to follow us on Twitter. Now, as I stated at the very beginning of this presentation, our goal is not to force feed you signals, all right? Even though we provide our members with signals, they're strictly there for educational tools. They're not meant for you to blindly take them the way so many other websites do. Our goal is not to tell you what the perfect market is. In fact, our goal is not to force feed you a uh, strategy and tell you exactly how to trade it. What we do is we give you benchmarks that have high levels of consistency, and then we give you different variables so that ultimately you can be in charge of your own trading. That's really what the key to success is, not in taking your cue from someone else. We don't believe in systems because if systems work so well, then, you know, once again, why do 85% of all traders fail? It's because markets change. You have to evolve and change with the markets. And in order to do that, you have to be a part of the process. So this is why you see here, my goal is not to force feed you signals and tell you what the perfect market or time frame or system is to trade. My goal is simply to teach you how to trade so that you can make your own trading decisions. This is what has, uh, I, I feel, turned my trading around. I struggled just like everyone else I, uh, roughly about 40 years ago. I couldn't make a dime. I was doing everything that I've been taught, looking at support and resistance, looking at the news, listening to all the, you know, the trading gurus, and it, it, nothing was working. There was no consistency in my trading. It wasn't until my mentors taught me the things that I teach in my courses that my trading started to come around. And so you, it takes a little bit of courage because you've got to let go of the things that you've held on to for so long and finally trust your instincts. But after you do, you'll finally get onto that road of consistency, which is the specialist edge. Now, I'm going to share with you a lot of different things today. I'm going to show you what's included in our stock college. It's going to be starting very shortly. I'm also going to give you a couple of rules to some of our strategies. And I'm going to show you some great, great edges that you can start applying right away. But before we begin, remember, if you have a question... I would kindly ask that you wait till the very end of today's class to, to ask them because uh, if we stop for every slide to answer any questions, this will turn into a four hour uh, seminar. So I don't wanna keep you waiting that long. I know the markets are still open. So uh, if you wait till the very end, we seem to get through every uh, question and many times your question will be answered on the very next slide. So please wait till the very next, or I should say till the end of the presentation to ask any questions. And lastly, the only question I will answer is the most common one, and that is, is this being recorded? Yes, we record all of our presentations. So if you have to leave early or if you're having technical difficulties, don't worry. You can uh, request a link to this presentation from my sister site, Pro Trader Strategies, and they will present you with a link, okay? All right, so let's begin. Now I'm going to share with you what my mentors taught me, because I know many of you are struggling Many of you can't get on that road to consistency. Does this sound familiar? You do well for a couple of trades, and then the next trade you give everything back, right? Or you have a method or a strategy that works really great, and then it doesn't work, so you switch to something else. And then that works for a little bit, then stops working, so you switch to something else. You're basically ping-ponging uh, between different uh, methodologies and different strategies. All right, this is the way most traders will trade. You know, They just are going back and forth pretty much like a chicken with their head cut off. I know because I went through the exact same thing myself some 40 years ago, but I'm going to share with you what my mentors said to me. I'm going to show you a few of the edges that they share with me that really changed things around. And you can do your own research uh, as early as today and start to, to look and see if these things actually do work or hold some levels of consistency. Now, what my mentors taught me is they said, Steve, the secret to trading success is not, you know, indulging yourself by learning about some company in the earnings has nothing to do with that. How many times have the earnings come out and you think they're good and they go straight down, the stock goes straight down, or you think they're terrible and the stock goes straight up? Or it's not listening to some trading guru because, you know, they, they don't know any more than anyone else. And many times they have terrible, terrible results. Or it's not some magic system that you've been bought because where you've told to do the same thing every time. You know, markets don't work that way because Markets change. You have to change and evolve with them. So you can't rely on the same thing. So the secret to trading success is really, really simple. And the things I'm going to be sharing with you are extremely simple. For some reason, we've been taught that the simple stuff doesn't work. So you want to rely on something that's really complicated because for some reason, we think that the more complicated your trading is, the more valid it will be. 
And in my 40 years, I found that it's actually the opposite. It's the simple things that work the best. So you're going to see a lot of simple things today. And I, and I uh, you know, invite you to do your research and see how well they work. So the secret to trading success is what my mentors taught me is never buy below the 50 period simple moving average and never sell above the 50 period simple moving average. I know that seems too simple and you say, well, what's so magic about the 50 period moving average and why does it have to be simple moving? Can it be exponential or weighted? Can it be a 20 period or a 10 period? Well, listen, go back and look at your last 10 or 20 trades. I can almost guarantee that the reason why you had some losses were because you were doing the opposite. You were buying below the 50 period and you were selling above. And that's the way we're taught. We're always taught to try and pick tops and bottoms. We wanna get in at the lowest price possible and then we wanna sell at the highest price and go short at the highest price. Well, I hate to tell you, but life is just not like that. There are very few traders who are able to do that consistently. It's a lot better if you are in sync with the overall trend because that's what this does. It gets you in sync with the overall trend. Now, this is not a strategy. It's not a system. Just because you're above the 50 period moving average, it does not mean buy at the market. Or if you're below, it does not mean sell at the market. It's just telling you the right side of the market to be on. And trust me, you will increase your odds for consistency if you follow this simple rule, regardless of what strategy you trade. It could be one of mine, it could be one of yours, something that you've uh, devised, it could be something from someone else. But if you simply buy when price is above the 50 and sell when price is below the 50, you will increase your odds for consistency. Let me show you what I mean here. Here's a chart of Baxter, BAX, okay? This is at the beginning of the year. Now we have circled in green. This is exactly when we knew that we should only be looking at this stock from the buy side. And someone would say, well, how do you know? Are you analyzing the earnings or, or uh, is some master system telling you to go long? Or is there gonna be some news announcement? Remember, those are all outside sources that hold no levels of consistency. We only take our cue from the chart in front of us. We don't care about earnings. I stopped looking at earnings 40 years ago and I'm still here. So if earnings are supposed to be so great, why don't, you know, you know, why am I still here if I have stopped looking at them? I don't listen to the news. I don't care about that thing. I only look at the chart in front of me. So what is this chart telling me? Well, it's telling me that I should only be looking at this stock from the buy side. In other words, I should not even consider going short. Why? Well, because we plot the 50 period moving average and we have now consistent closes above. So this is telling us that the market is telling us that the overall trend is up. Until we have consistent closes below, as we did prior to this, we are only gonna be looking at this from a buy point of view. Now you can use any strategy, any technique you'd like, but it must be a buy. Now, as we see what happened coming into this week in June, wouldn't you have liked to have been in sync with the overall trend? There was nothing you had to purchase. There was no, no uh, website you had to subscribe to. All you have to do is apply the 50 period moving average. It's free. It's on virtually every charting uh, software package, okay? This is yours. You can start looking at this today. Now, the only way you would have lost money in Baxter this past four or five months would be if you were only trying to short it or sell it. But wouldn't you have liked to know this simple tool in advance that, well, I only want to look at this stock from the buy side. How about this example in TSCO, Tosco, okay? Someone looking at this will say, well, Steve, you know, why should I be selling this? You know, we have a red circle around there, so obviously I guess you, you don't like this, but you know, uh, the earnings are supposed to come out. They're supposed to be really, really good. And the chat room, the guy I follow in that chat room, he really, really likes this stock. And it looks like it's made some type of double bottom. In fact, there's a divergence here. It was not confirmed by the other indicators. So I, I kind of like this stock. And it looks like it had a really nice bounce. To see how all those justifications I'm making are all based on an outside source, what someone or something is telling you. We never listen to outside sources. We listen to what's directly in front of us, the market. So the first thing we do is we apply the 50 period moving average. And we see that we've had consistent closes below. So this is the market telling us, not some guy in a, in a chat room, not some uh, you know earnings report, the market telling us it wants to go lower. So you have a choice. You can either be aggressive and look to sell short, or you can be on the sidelines and wait till it has consecutive closes above. So as you can see here, look at the stock, okay? 
Was there anything you had to figure out? Was there any master system you had to learn or pay thousands, you know, tens of thousands of dollars for? Was there any chat room you had to subscribe to? Was there any guru you had to follow? No, you're in charge of your own destiny as a trader. And this is one of the greatest tools I know of that puts you in sync with the overall trend. Uh, later on, I'm gonna show you how to be in sync with the short-term trend, but this is the overall trend, okay? And remember that chart in Watt that I showed you at the very beginning. Once again, the rationalization was, well, it's in a rangy market, not really doing much. Uh, I don't understand why you'd want to be a buyer of this. Well, the reason is because it's telling us it wants to go higher. It's above the 50 period moving average, consecutive closes above. So that was all we needed to know. If you were short, well, you would probably want to cover your short. Or if you were uh, thinking about buying, now's the time to start looking into some structure, some type of strategy. Why? Because the stock went up 45 points coming into this last week. To see how simple trading is when you put yourself in charge of your own decisions and you're relying on one thing, the chart in front of you. Remember, it's a recipe for disaster when you listen to outside sources tell you how to trade, either a blog, either the news on TV, some guys on TV, or some a master system that costs tens of thousands of dollars. Invest in your education, and the education should be teaching you how to listen to the market, and that's what we do at Specialist Trading. Now, up until now, all we've done is basically tell you the overall trend. We haven't added any structure. We haven't told you, you know, exactly how to get in. Because there are ways to get in. You know, there, you can either be a continuation trader, or a pullback trader. Uh, you know, you can, there's a number of different strategies and techniques that will fit your style or your persona. Well, here's what my mentors taught me. They said, Steve, develop a methodology and then stick with it. Do not change methodologies from day to day. Does that sound familiar? Do a lot of you do that? Something doesn't work. Let's move on to the next one. Well, I bought this and it looked really good, but it doesn't work now, so I'll go on to the next one. Many times, it's not really the methodology that doesn't work. It's that you're not giving it enough time and that, once again, you're looking for a miracle answer. You don't want to put the work that it takes in to become a part of the process. You want someone or something to tell you what to do. We've all been trained this way, myself included. I was trained this way when I first started four decades ago. I wanted a master system to tell me what to buy and what to sell. Okay. But it just doesn't work like that. You have to be in charge of your own trading destiny. And that's one of the reasons why we jump back and forth so many times. It's because, you know, we don't want to make the decision. We try something. Well, it didn't have a great signal. I don't really understand it. I, I, I can't get a good feel for this. So let me move on to something else. You have to take the time to become a part of the process to study and learn it. Okay. So here's one of the strategies we want to be offering to you in our new college. This is probably one of the best strategies we have at Specialist Trading and Pro Trader Strategies because of its consistency. It's strategy number four. And I've been using this strategy in some, uh, in some basis or, or some uh, different concept of it for the last 40 years because, once again, it's not a system. You, we give you everyone a standard benchmark, but then we work out from there. We have ways to trade it aggressively, ways to trade it conservatively. It all depends on your style because you're going to be in charge of the decision process. But the benchmark is the same. It was designed from be, for beginners to advanced traders. So it does not matter if you're trading two weeks or if you're trading 20 years. Everyone gets the same basic format in the beginning. It was originally designed for traders looking to catch quick momentum moves. Many times you're in and out rather quickly. If you like to stay in longer, we show you the ways in which to do that in the course. Now, it's intensity level. If one is the most intense of all strategies and three is the most relaxed, it's right in the middle, the very moderate number two. Now, it only uses one indicator, okay? That's how simple it is. Remember I said it's simplicity that will get you on the road to consistency. And guess what? You already know what that indicator is. It's the 50 period simple moving average. That's going to tell us whether we should be buying or selling. Why is it only use one indicator? Because we're looking for a specific pattern. Now, I can't divulge what that pattern is, but I'm going to give you uh, one of the rules to it today. Now, this can be applied to any time frame, any direction, and any market. So the, the best news is if you become a member of our college, not only can you use this for stocks, if you like to intraday trade stocks, you can use it for that. If you also like to trade all, all, uh, different markets, you can use it for the commodities market. You can use it for futures, for Forex. It doesn't matter. And it works in any direction, going long or short. 
Now, as a member of the college course, you're going to receive automatic buy and sell indications. But remember, this will turn into a crutch. So these are for educational purposes only. We're going to automatically, you know, uh, generate buy and sell arrows, but that's so that you can check your work. We do not want to simply turn this into a crutch where you say, well, you know, all I have to do is look for this green arrow and then I'll just buy. Well, what's it based off of? I don't know. A green arrow just appeared. Once again, that's a recipe for disaster. And even though it will be generating a proper signal, most likely you'll lose money because you're not a part of the process. You're not implementing the rules correctly. So you have to learn what to identify. You have to learn what the basis is for a signal to be generated. And then you have to follow the rules correctly. We're just simply showing you these uh, buy and sell indications for educational purposes only. Remember, our edge here is consistency. Not every trade will be a winner. In fact, I'm going to show you a couple of losses uh, using strategy number four. But here's the beauty of our strategies. They're consistency meaning that they have a two steps forward, one step back approach. Many times you'll have a small loss, which is totally normal. I had a loss the other day and then the next trade I made it back and more. That's just the way it happens when you have a consistent method. So that's what we're looking for. Two steps forward, one step back. Okay. Now I'm going to show this once again. I see we had some people that entered late. If you happen to come in a little bit late and join us late, remember any questions, kindly wait till the very end of the class in just about the next 20 minutes and then we'll go over all the questions. Now I'm going to show you a lot of examples, a lot, a lot of examples. And these are all daily bars. But remember, they can be used for intraday, can also be used for different markets. But this, these are all very, very recent setups. And they were all setups that were all a valid strategy number four setups, going long or going short, whichever market, and a lot of different stocks. And they all happened uh, in a very recent time frame, somewhere as recent as this past week. I'm going to show you all of the things you could have taken advantage of with strategy number four. OK, first of all, let me just share with you what one of the setup rules is. And I'm, you've heard me talk about this before, but you can go back and do your due diligence and do your research and see how valid this rule is. Because you want to look for a bar that closes in the top or bottom 25 percent of its range, depending on where it is in relation to the 50 period moving average. So in other words, if you're above the 50 period moving average, we know that the overall trend is up and we know that we're going to be buying. Well, this is our setup bar. Now, I can't give you the full rules to the strategy, but this is one of them. We have to find a bar that looks like this. OK, this is our setup bar. So we measure uh, the range of the bar from top to bottom, from top of the wick to bottom of the wick. We divide by four. And if we close in the top quarter, that is an indication to buy. Now, is it, is it an indication to buy from the earnings? Is it an indication to buy from a trading room? No, it's an indication to buy from the market you're trading. That's the best clue I could ever get, a clue coming from what I'm trading, not from an outside source. Now, conversely, let's say we are below the 50 period moving average, okay? And we see a bar close in the bottom quarter of its range. Well, that's a clue. That's an edge coming from the market, not coming from some guy on TV or some, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, news announcement, but coming from the, the market, the thing you're trading, telling you most likely it's going to be going lower. So what greater clue can you have than coming from the source that you're trading? It's telling you what it wants to do. This is one of the rules uh, involved in making up strategy four. You also have another of the rules, which is the buy sell line, meaning the 50 period moving average. It tells you whether you should be buying or selling. So you have two of the five rules of this particular strategy right now in your hands. Let me show you how well these two rules can uh, generate really consistent uh, trade setups. So let's look at some very recent strategy number four examples. Okay, we're looking at STT here, all right? Now looking at this, well, it looks like we're going down. We don't really see anything, but a buy signal was generated here coming into June. We close in the top 25%. And remember, a green arrow would not be appearing if we were below the 50. So for all intents and purposes, we know we are above the 50. And the stock went up five points coming into this past week. <coughs> Excuse me. How about CTXS? All right. Well, we are below the 50 because we generated a sell signal. And as you can see here, this bar closed in the bottom of its range, the very bottom. It met all the other rules of the strategy, which I can't divulge right now. But a sell signal was generated. This was just the first week of June, just last week and quickly went down five points, okay? 
could have taken advantage of this last week if you wanted to go short. Remember, you can apply anything you want to this. You can, you know, you don't have to actually short the stock. We know a lot of people don't have the capital or the means to do that. You can buy puts. Just because a signal is generated does not mean you have to actually buy or sell the stock. You can purchase options if you like. All right, CME, all right? This stock looks like it's going sideways, right? Well, we're above the 50. A buy signal was generated. In fact, we closed at the very top of the range here on this candle bar, and the stock goes up seven points coming into this past week. This is all happening the first week of June. IBM, now someone looking at this will say, Steve, there's no clear cut pattern here. We're in a range for the past month coming in from April into May. Well, at the very beginning of June, we had a series of sell signals, all right? The first one uh, worked out a little bit, nothing really came of it. Then we had two more, and then finally a third one. But, you know, people would say, well, you know, it's not going down, but remember, it's all about consistency. And eventually, had you held on, well, it was four quick points coming into this past week. We take every signal for what's being generated on each stock. And I know a lot of traders have been taught, well, Steve, you know, I can't be shorting at the same time I'm buying something, then I say, why not? I've just showed you four examples here. Two of them went up, two of them went down in the same week. So remember, it's up to you how you want to trade. But as your mentor, there is no uh, requirement saying that, well, you must be long all the time or else be short at the time. It's up to you. If a signal is generated, it's the market that you're trading telling you what it wants to do. It's your choice. Remember, once again, whether you want to jump on board or not. The exact same week coming into June, okay, FDX generates a buy signal even though the stock closed down on the day. We are above the 50 period moving average because a buy signal was generated and we closed in the top quarter. So it doesn't matter if we closed up or down. We closed in the top quarter of our range and the stock goes up 12 points coming into this past week, okay? While IBM went down, FDX went up. XCC. Now, here's a great example of consistency. All right. This is what I'm talking about. We see here that we've kind of been going sideways. There have been a total of three signals generated. Now, the first one did not work out that well. Sure, you went up for a couple of days, but then it immediately switched uh, gears and reversed. OK, so you most likely would have been stopped out with a loss on the very first trade. But then you had a sell and you had you, uh, uh, you know, been an in and out trader, you would have quickly uh, stopped yourself out and reversed and gone short. And if you were more aggressive, you would have taken the second shorting signal and 18 points to the downside coming in the same week that FTX went up. This is why we say, listen, it's up to you. You can decide on your own. We're not here to tell you how to trade. But when the market tells you what it wants to do, it's your decision whether to buy or sell. You know, the market is telling you right in front of you what it wants to do. It's not saying, well, you know, FTX went up, so I guess you, you shouldn't short me. If it's telling you what it wants to do, it's your decision. Now, obviously, this first setup was a losing trade, but that's what consistency means, your ability to quickly make it back. How about UA? All right, here's another example of the consistency. Not every trade is going to be a winner. We have a total of four trades here. Here's the first sell setup that worked out pretty well. Now, this is a very inexpensive $17, $18 stock. The first one went pretty well. You would have at least made a point or so. The second one worked out pretty well. The third one did not. Most likely would have been a loss. You would have stopped, reversed. And then had you want to take this trade, you would have taken it, and it was a quick two points. So we would have made a couple of points, lost a point, and then made a couple more points. So this is what consistency is. You know, Two steps forward, one step back. Not every trade will be a winner. Here's an example in SNA. Someone looking at this will say, well, Steve, you know, the, the trading room I go to says we hit a real major bottom here. You know, all the indicators confirmed it. Uh, we hit some major support. And, you know, the uh, numbers when the institutions, they love this stock and they were buying down here. So well, how can I sell this? The reason why you're selling this is because the market is telling you it wants to go lower. Why would you listen to the institutions? Why would you care about support or resistance when they're too subjective? One trader's support is another trader's resistance. Just listen to the market. The market is very clear and cut, cut and you know, it's very, it tells you black and white what it wants to do. In this case, a sell signal was generated, meaning we're below the 50 period and we close in the bottom 25%. So those are the two very important clues. The market telling you it wants to go lower and nine quick points coming into this past week. 
How about IWM? This is the ETF for the Russell uh, 2000 uh, index. Now, this is a stock based off the, uh, the index. As you can see here, you can use this as a market directional tool. So even if you don't want to trade the IWM or any signal that's generated in, in another ETF, such as the spiders or the QQQs, you can look at this as a market directional tool. So if a buy signal is generated in the IWM, you know, the, the ETF or the Russell, most likely that market's going to be going up. So you may want to purchase a buy signal within that market, okay, within that index. So you can look at this and say, oh, okay, so this is mo most likely going to be dragging the market up with it. And as you can see, we went up four points, which is not a lot, but that represented hundreds of points in the market. Now, we've seen strategy number four, all right? It listens to what the market is telling us. Remember, so much of how uh, the reason why most traders fail is because you're listening to outside sources. You're listening to what some guy on TV is saying. You're listening to the news. You're listening to earnings. I know, once again, I'm not trying to be arrogant and condescending about this. I'm saying this from firsthand experience. This is all I used to listen to. And it didn't work at all for me. In fact, I struggled tremendously my first year or two. I didn't think I was going to be trading much longer because nothing was working with consistency. Sure, it would work every once in a while, but then I'd give it all back. You know, I'd see an earnings report and I think, oh, that's really great news. I go out and buy and it went straight down. Or I'd see some news that came out and I think that's terrible. It'd go down a little bit, I'd sell, and then it'd go right back up and make new highs. So it's too subjective. As you see here, what my mentors taught me is they said, Steve, you don't need to be a weatherman to see which way the wind is blowing. In other words, you don't have to use all these statistics and analytics because the market is telling you right in front of you what most likely it wants to do. The only trouble is we've never been trained to listen to the market. We're always trained to listen to an outside source. You know, look at the analysis, look at the reports, listen to some guy on TV. That's the way we're all trained. But what we do at Specialist Trading and Pro Trader Strategies is we train you for the very first time how to listen to the market. Here's where our second strategy comes into play. Strategy number eight. This is a great strategy as well. It's our second in our series of strategies that we will be presenting in the college. <clears throat> Let's talk about some of the highlights. It's designed to pinpoint strong stock moves. We have noticed that many times, it's not guaranteed, but many times, after a signal has been generated, you're going to get a really strong move in the stock. OK, so this is really a great way to listen to the market. I'm going to show you some examples of that in just a few minutes. Once again, its intensity level is very moderate at number two. Now, this is different from strategy number four in that it's based off of an indicator. It's not based off of a pattern. It's based off of an indicator that we show with you. We edit and we show you how to apply it. It has a dynamic exit, meaning that we don't know where we're exiting. We have to wait for everything to come into place. But these are just the standard be benchmark format rules, okay? Once again, once you learn them, we show you different ways in which to exit, different ways in which to enter, different ways in which to trade it aggressively or conservatively. So ultimately, we're showing you and sharing with you all these different things because you have to make the decision how to trade it. You have to be a part of the process. These are not systems where they're traded the same way every time, okay? Once again, we're going to give you automatic buy and sell indications, but they are there for you to learn what to look for. We always advise our members to paper trade first because that's how you become a part of the process and learn so much more uh, quickly rather than just jumping in with both feet. And most likely you're going to lose money because you didn't study the rules correctly and you're going to be implementing it totally wrong. Remember, it's all about consistency. Not every strategy eight, uh, trade is a winner, but we, that's okay. We just want to make sure that we have more winners than we have losses, okay? And we show you uh, with our examples here how consistent the strategy can be. All right, so let's look at some strategy eight examples. Once again, we're not going to be like other webinars you've gone to where you look and see these great, great cherry pick examples that happened six months, eight months ago. These happened, many of these will be in the last week. Sure, some might be a month or so ago, but most of them happened this last week, okay? Okay, let's look at SHW, okay? Coming into June, all right? The stock is going nowhere, it's going sideways. We have a buy signal generated. Once again, we have to be above the 50 period moving average, so that's one of the rules, but according to the rest of the rules, we are supposed to go long, and the stock quickly goes up 14 points coming in the past week, okay? 
about Disney? All right. Someone could say, well, Steve, why would you want to sell this? We just made a major bottom down here. It looks like we're going to be going up to make new highs. OK. And the rest of the market is going higher. How can I be selling this? Well, the reason is, is because the market's telling you. OK. Those other things are outside sources. The market you're trading is telling you it wants to go lower according to this strategy. Now, remember, this strategy is following completely different rules than strategy number four. And according to the rules, it generated a sell signal and quickly went down four points coming into this past week. And if you miss that first setup, many times you will get a second setup with strategy number eight. Let's look at WHR. OK, now, once again, kind of a sideways market, but a strategy number eight signal was generated and quickly went up 11 points in the first week in June. How about Orly, O-R-L-Y, okay? Someone would say, well, Steve, you know, the chat room I go to says this is a high level consolidation. We're making like a flag or a pennant here. There's no reason to go short. Well, yes, there is. Why? First of all, all of our strategies will only generate sell signals if you are below the 50 period moving average. So by the red arrow here means that we're obviously below the 50 period. There's no reason why you should be buying below. And then secondly, all of the rules of strategy number eight were met. So Yes, the market is telling you you should be going short and 25 points coming into this week. OK. And once again, if you miss the first signal, many times with a strong downward move, there is another signal. Let's look at Yahoo. Now, this is a perfect example of the way most people will not trade. They'll say, Steve, there is absolutely nothing happening in the stock. It's the beginning of June, just basically a week and a half ago. Uh, we're probably going into the summer. As you can see, this stock is going nowhere fast. It's going in a range. I'm not going to do anything until I see some movement. Well, according to the strategy, remember, you do not have to be a weatherman to see which way the wind is blowing. The market is telling you that the wind is blowing up. But for some reason, we like to listen to other sources tell us what the market's doing. Strategy uh, number eight listens to the market and it tells you what the market you're trading wants to do. And it said you should be buying Yahoo. And look what happened. This last week, it went up seven points in roughly about just a week or so. Let's look at PSA. This is expensive stock, but once again, you could have purchased puts on this if you'd like. A sell signal was generated at the very end of May and five quick points to the downside. Now, here's another example of it looks like we're going sideways. And that is a big up move, but not much volume. You know, uh, the institutions aren't interested in this. Uh, the earnings don't reflect anything, so there's no reason to get involved in this. We don't care about any of those reasons. The market is telling us this wants to go higher. And even though this is an expensive stock, you could have purchased calls because the stock went up 100 points coming into this past week. OK, remember, you do not need to be a weatherman to know which way the wind is blowing. You do not have to look at earnings. You do not have to look at news. You do not have to look at uh, what someone is saying in a chat room in order to know which way the wind is blowing. You only have to learn how to listen to the market. The market tells you nine times out of 10 what it wants to do in advance. Now, strategy number eight can generate some large moves like this. I'm not promising you that every move is going to be like this, but it can also generate some smaller ones as well. Now, there was another signal generated, as you can see, coming into June. But as we look at SNAP, now a lot of people looking at uh, SNAP, we, we see that this stock kind of fell out of bed. There was a big gap uh, down here, and then it started to rally back up. A lot of people said, well, that was just based off some news. The stock is really OK. We're going much higher. In all actuality, we were still below the 50 period moving average. A sell signal strategy sell signal was generated the last week in May. and the stock went down another three and a half points. I know that's not a lot, but this is only a $16 stock, so uh, a $17 stock. So that's a, a large percentage move to the downside. Now, I want to show you this because a lot of people say, well, Steve, you know, I love this stuff. It looks good, but you know what? I've always been taught that the news tells me everything I need to know. And, you know, I like to base my decisions off the news because most of the time it's right. And the way I trade, uh, you know, I, I, I've been taught and I've done very well listening to the news. Listen, if you want to trade by the news, that's fine. All we're saying is you don't need to. OK, I traded with the news myself and it worked sometimes. Sometimes it didn't. Overall, I couldn't make any money trading off the news because it's too uh, subjective. 
There's too much of a discretion in how you want to interpret it. As a trader, you shouldn't be interpreting anything. Things should be more black and white. You should know whether you're buying or whether you're selling. Just like the 50 period moving average, you know if price is above, you're only going to be a buyer. There's no room for interpretation there. If price is below, you're only going to be a seller. This is the, uh, part of what we teach you at Specialist Trading and Pro Trader Strategies. We make things as simple as possible. So there's no room for question. Just have to follow a few simple rules. And then we show you different variables. And then you decide how you want to trade it. Remember, you have to be in charge of your decision making. Now, if it says that you can't let go of the umbilical cord and you must follow news, that's fine. We're not going to tell you how to trade. That goes against our philosophy. We're just here to tell you that you are in no way required and it's, it is not in, involved in any of our uh, trading where we look at any news events. Why? Well, let me show you why. Here's an example of BCR. Looking at this, this is an older chart from March, April coming into May. Now, someone once again looking at this will say, well, Steve, how can you get any type of interpretation from this? We're going sideways. There's, sure, we're kind of drifting up a little bit, but there's no movement. There's no volume. Uh, you say you listen to the market. The market's not telling you anything. Well, actually it is because, first of all, we are above the 50-period moving average. And strategy number eight, based off of a specific settings for an indicator, is generating buy signals all the way prior to it even inching up. Okay? So it's been telling you you should be buying this. Now, this was towards the end of April, coming into May, a little over a month ago. Now, all of a sudden... Guess what comes out? Some breaking news. Medical tech firm Beck and Dixon to buy CR Bar for $24 billion. Okay, great news. It's agreement to buy competitor CR Bar Incorporated in a cash and stock deal worth $24 billion. This deal was announced Sunday night. It was approved by both company boards. And, it, uh, you know, uh, it's, it's a major, major announcement. Okay, so it just stands to be very good news. Okay, not much room for interpretation. The stock gained 55 points. Would you have wanted to wait for the news to buy it then? Sure, you could have and made maybe, you know, two or three points. Wouldn't you have liked to rather just listen to the market in April when it was telling you to buy me, buy me, prior to any news announcement? This is the main reason why we say there is absolutely no reason you need to listen to news. Once again, if news is so important, how am I still here after four decades without even listening to news? I don't listen or look at any news at all, okay? All I do is look at the market in front of me. Now, another thing my mentors taught me is they said, the trend will give you direction on your path. Now, we've talked about the overall trend. What about the short-term trend, okay? The trend within the trend. Well, this is probably one of our most popular tools we have because most traders don't know how to find the trend because everyone has a different idea of how to find the trend. A lot of traders will say, well, you know, they'll come in a day late and a dollar short. They'll see an example like this, for example, in Aetna, and they'll say, well, I think we're definitely in an uptrend, so I'm going to buy it somewhere here. And you make a few points or have a, a few days of nice upward movement, and then all of a sudden, the bottom falls out, okay? So is there a tool that could give us advance warning? be an early trend detector. And yes, there is. This is something I learned from the floor. And next to strategy four, it is our most popular as well as consistent tool. It's called the PET D. And what it is, is a roadmap for any market, any direction, any time frame. It does not matter if you intraday, day trade the futures, if you trade uh, weekly charts of stocks, or if you trade commodities, makes no difference. It's a color bar algorithm and it's proprietary but we make it easy that all you have to do is follow the colors of the bars to know what the short term trend is. Now, remember, we've told you what the overall trend is, but now we want to know the trend within the trend. So let's look back at our example in Aetna right here. Wouldn't you have liked to know in advance that you were going to be going up so that you didn't have to get in too late? And then would you like to know in advance that the trend was changing so that you wouldn't have to be caught all the way down? Well, sure. You add the color bar tool, the pet D. And look how it told you in advance, way back here, that you were going higher. And it doesn't pick tops or bottoms, but it will tell you in advance of a trend change. So as you can see, the beauty of the PET-D is that it tells you which direction you should be trading. And once you know the trend, you can apply any strategy, any method to that direction. You will be in sync with the short-term trend. Let me show you some examples here. 
All right, let's look at MCD, McDonald's. Obviously, someone looking at this in hindsight will say, well, yeah, Steve, you don't have to tell me we're in an uptrend coming into June here. This is easy to see. I want to know way back in February, way back here that we were in an uptrend, okay? All right, let's apply the PET D. The PET D bars have been green the entire way up. So you would have known as well back as you know February or late January that you should be buying MCD McDonald's, okay? And that the entire time it's remained green. How about IBM? IBM's been going much, much lower as of late. Some would say, well, yeah, obviously it's in a downtrend. Look at this big gap down opening it had, and then another one down here. I want to know up here that we're in a downtrend. Okay, you apply the PET D. Kind of safe to say that the PET D was giving you way in advance signals by all the colors of the bars being red well up here. Okay, well before some news or some something came out where it gapped down here. Remember, we don't look at any announcements. We don't care. Why? Because the PET D is listening to the market for us and it's translating what the market wants to do. And it translated well in advance of these downward moves that it was going lower. And then finally, we look at PayPal, PYPL. We can see that we've been going up coming into this last week. We had a nice gap up here and someone would have said, well, yeah, you know, how could you have told me back here we were going up? Well, you apply the PET D and the bars were red. And then in April, first or second week of April, they changed to green. And that would have told you it's time to look to go long. Now, remember the, the PET D is not a strategy, just like the 50 period moving average, it's not a system. It's just telling you what the market wants to do on the short term. But now you have the ability to know what the overall trend is and then what the short term trend is. So you can be in sync with both of them and then put your strategies in sync with those two trends. You will add those high levels of consistency to your trading. One last example here, GWW, once again, a big gap down here. Would have been nice to know well in advance that this stock was going much lower coming into this week. Well, we knew well in advance way back up here that all the bars were red. Now, in order to learn how to trade, you must first want to be taught. Remember, it is not our goal, it's not our mission to force feed you a system and say, just trade it the standard way every time and you will make thousands and thousands of dollars. We don't believe in that. We give everyone the standard benchmark, but they're not systems, they're simply benchmarks. I've given you two of the rules already for uh, strategy number four, what the standard benchmark is. We've shown you the other tools, the PET D and the 50 period moving average. But then we share with you different ways in which to uh, exit, different ways in which to place your stop, different ways in which to enter, different ways in which to apply money management in this course. Ultimately, you have to be a part of the process. We have so many first time traders that want me to tell them what to buy or sell. And I say, that's not what we do. We are not a, a signal generating company. Even though our strategies generate signals, and we post them on Twitter and we tell them about, I tell you about them. That's just what we teach you. It's up to you ultimately to find out where they are, identify them, and then decide if you want to trade them. That is, in my opinion, the only way how one becomes a consistent trader. Not by going to a signal service, not by going to a trading room or a chat room and listening to what someone is telling you, not by listening to earnings or someone on TV. If those things work so great, why are 80 to 85% of all traders failing? The only way one becomes consistent is by learning the same things I learned 40 years ago. And these are the things that turned my trading around. And my mentors did the same thing to me. I said, you know, this is great. Can you just tell me what you're buying and then I'll just buy that too? And they said, absolutely not. And I said, but why? You know, if, if they follow all the rules to yourself, why don't you just tell me and I'll just piggyback? And they said, because you're going to lose money because you're not a part of the process. You won't really ultimately know why we entered. You'll forget about the rules. You'll just want to piggyback what we're doing. And ultimately, you're taking yourself out of the game. You're basically telling the market, I don't know what to do. You tell me what to do as some great trader, you know. And that's how you lose money. That's how most traders trade. We want to put all this information in your hands, but you have to be, uh, you know, enabling. And you have to be first wanting to be taught. That's what it, it takes to be a consistent trader. So. This is what we're offering you. We're offering you our elite stock trading college. If you want to be taught by someone who's been using these methods on a daily basis for going on four decades now, here is your chance. This is your last chance to learn the secrets from a stock trading specialist. Now, here's just the curriculum that we will be offering, just so you'll know what this is a six week college course. 
Okay, they are live classes. We structure them around your uh, best days or time in which you want to be going to the course. So if you want to be uh, doing it on a weekend, we can have the courses on a weekend. If most of the people want to be doing them during market hours, we can have them then. We want to make uh, you comfortable so that you will learn. It's all about teaching you. It's not about giving you a master system, okay? Now we're gonna offer you six weeks of classes. The first week we're gonna be covering founding, uh, the foundation and the building blocks of stock trading. I covered a few of those today. In week number two, we go into stock strategy number four. I give you all the rules, show you a lot more examples, and then we share different examples and ways in which to heighten your experience with strategy number four, ways in which to exit, ways in which to enter, okay? Week three, we go into strategy number eight, what we talked about a little while ago. Do the same thing. We show you all the rules, tell you exactly what to look for, give you a homework assignment as well so that we know if you're learning uh, the strategies or not, and then we go over different examples. In week four, we talk about the Pet D. Now, the Pet D is a great trend directional tool, but there are many ways to use it. I just share with you ways in which to implement it right here just by finding the trend. But there are actually four different uh, techniques that you can apply with the Pet D. Uh, so I show you all those different things with the Pet D. In week number five, live class with option trading. We know a lot of you don't specifically buy or sell stocks, but you buy or sell stock options. Well, we go over all the different ways to use these strategies and techniques with an option trading class. And then finally, in week six, we talk about advanced trade management. This is our proprietary money management technique that is not offered in any specific course. It's not offered on any webinars. The only place we teach it is in the colleges, okay? So we put it all together in week six. We answer any questions that you may have, but we don't just stop there. Remember, once you are a student of mine, I'm gonna mentor you for life. So you can always email me with any questions that you may have. I get literally hundreds of emails a day. I try to get back to all my students as quickly as possible. I try to do so in 24 hours, but I always get back to you and answer your question as soon as I can. Now, these strategies work best with stocks. You're gonna see how well they work. In fact, you've seen today how well they work. But remember, if you like to trade in the markets, you can apply them to ETFs, to the futures, to the forex markets, even to commodities. If you like to trade sugar, if you like to trade crude oil. In fact, here's an example in the Canadian dollar, where strategy number four generated three great buy signals. Or if you trade crude oil, when crude oil was going lower, strategy number four generated three great sell signals, all using the same uh, rules that I'm gonna be teaching you to apply for stocks. If you like to trade intraday, just as well, okay? Now, if you go on Pro Trader Strategies website or my own website, you're gonna to see tons of testimonials of people that have just started trading or even traders, as you see right here, that have been trading for years. All right, here's a, a hedge fund trader who took our course, who've been trading for 25 years, who still heightened his level of consistency by applying our methods. Now remember, let's recap. Successful trading should be non-subjective. In other words, two traders looking at the same charts to come up with the same analysis. You don't get that when you look at news because two traders can look at news and come up with totally different scenarios. You don't look at that, uh, get that same non-subjectivity when you look at support and resistance. One trader could say, no, no, the support's right here. Another one can say, no, no, that's resistance. So we want things that are cut and dry, that are non-subjective, like that 50 period moving average rule. Now my mentors also taught me that successful trading should be consistent. Remember, we're not gonna sit here and tell you that every trade works, but two steps forward, one step back is the secret to success. I showed you a couple of losing trades but you saw how quickly the losses were made back. That's the beauty of our methods. They are very consistent. Trading should be as simple as possible. I don't want you to worry if you're new to trading. We have people that have just started trading that are maybe a week uh, into trading and they've taken our courses. So it does not matter uh, what your experience level is. Everyone gets the same basic format and then we work out from there. Remember, we do not teach systems we teach strategies which make you a part of the process. So this is what our last thing is, which makes you a successful trader. You should become a part of the process. Remember, if you are taking your signals, if you're basing your decisions off of what someone is saying on TV, off some news event, off some earnings report, what you're telling the market is basically, I don't know what to do, tell me what to do. Now, can you imagine a brain surgeon doing that in the middle of an operation? saying, uh, okay, what do you think I should do now? 
Okay. Or uh, someone flying a jet plane that uh, you're flying across country. And then the captain saying, well, what do you guys think I should do? How should I land this? But this is the way most traders trade. You know, they'll, they'll have an idea, but they say, well, I want to see what this guy on TV says. What does he think I should do? Or what does this signal service say I should do? Or what, what is this chat room saying I should do? You're taking yourself out of the game. You're telling the market, I don't, you know, have enough knowledge. I don't have enough experience to really believe in myself. This is what we do at Specialist Trading and Pro Trader Strategy. We give you that information. So for the first time, you will be learning how to trust yourself and listen to the markets. So here's our elite stock trading college, okay? Six weeks of detailed instruction taught by yours truly. We're gonna give you the two proprietary strategies, all the different entries, all the different exits, all the different stops. It comes with the, the PET D, the Primo Early Trend Detector. We're gonna provide you with educational signal alerts. You have full access to all the rules, plus we're gonna go over one week of option trading, and you have lifetime correspondence with me, okay? So you can always contact me, regardless if it's next week or uh, 10 years from now, you can always email me. Now remember, a year from today, you will have wished you became a member of this course. Don't look back and say, gosh, you know, here it is, it's the end of uh, 2017, we're in 2018 now, and I'm still not doing well. In fact, I think I'm gonna to have to stop trading because I, I just can't make ends meet here. Trust yourself and, and really believe in yourself by putting the power back in your hands, all right? Take advantage of all the information that I've accumulated and so that we can shorten your learning curve. You won't have to be trading 40 years. You can get all the th things that I've accumulated in four decades in six weeks. Now, I'm not saying and not guaranteeing that this will happen again, but I just showed you a number of examples from the two strategies. If you had taken all of the different uh, opportunities that were there, it generated about over 250 points that you had to work with. I'm not saying you would have made 250 points, but that's how much uh, room you had to work with with all those signals that were generated, okay? Now, let's just say, you know, you traded a third of those, and maybe only made 60 or maybe uh, 70 points, okay? And you traded 100 shares. Well, that would have still uh, netted roughly about six or $7,000. Once again, this is not guaranteed, this is not promised, but just hypothetically, from the examples we showed you, that's a nice little gain you would have been able to make or anyone would have been able to make, okay? Not promised, not guaranteed, just hypothetical. But if you look at the price, that would have covered the price here, okay? Because our college roughly cost about $5,000, but we're discounting that as well. We're dropping it another $500 down to $44.95, and we're offering you payment plans. So if you don't have one lump sum of $44.95, you can come in with a small deposit and you can still be in my classes where it's set to start in the next week or so. So this is how to take advantage of this great, great offer. Contact Pro Trader Strategies. You can see their email address right there. I would suggest calling them directly at area code 310-598-6677 because if you do that, you can set up a payment plan with them. And that way, you will be able to uh, you know, be up and running for a small deposit and you'll be up and running in the live classes. Now the link below that takes you directly to the sign up page, a little bit more information about this, but that's not a live link. If you wanna to go to a live link, we've posted one in the chat box on the GoToWebinar page on the far right. So if you click that on, that will take you uh, to the uh, web page. I'm gonna leave this information up here. We're at the end of the presentation and I'm gonna answer all the questions. So I wanna thank you first for holding off on any questions that you may have had. Um, let's see, the first question, does application of the pet D to strategy and four improve its success rate? Does the pet D work for bond futures? Uh, let me take the first part of that question. Yes, uh, in fact, we call that the, the, the first question, when you combine the pet D with any strategy, it improves because now you're in sync with the short-term trend, all right? Any strategy we have has a certain level of consistency to it. I just showed you a, a, a number of examples, okay, from this past week. The PET D will increase that consistency, okay? But remember, this is not a system. You have to be a part of the process. We teach you what the best setups are to look for, which are the ones that have the highest probability, all right? The PET D can work for anything. Anything that has a trend, you can apply it to. It does not matter if you're looking at bonds. It does not matter if you're looking at uh, currency pairs. It does not matter if you're looking at tick charts. It makes no difference, okay? So the PET D is a great, great tool that increase your odds, okay? Um, let's see, so why, uh, Mika, hello, Mika is asking, why combine strategy for a pet D and ATM in this college course? Why combine? Well, because they're very good ways to learn how to trade. 
Uh, each one is different. Strategy four, as I said, I don't know if it came in late, strategy four is based off of a uh, specific pattern we're looking for. Strategy eight is based off of a, uh, a, a dynamic indicator, okay? The pet D is a proprietary tool, which is just simply based off momentum, which listens to the market. These are great, great tools, and the ATM is a great tool for you know, applying for your money management for telling you when you should be trading them and when not. So, I mean, it's like saying, you know, why put all the great ingredients into this one meal? Well, because you're going to get a great meal. I mean, you know, that, that, that's the similar question you would ask. You know, if you want to make a good meal, you would just put, you know, one, uh, you know, tasty spice in there and nothing else. You'd want to put some other good things in there to make it uh, even more uh, flavorful. It's the same thing with all these great things we're offering you. Okay. We're offering you some really great, uh, consistent methods that we feel will heighten your level for consistency. And also we're giving you the option. Strategy four and strategy eight are two different animals. So you may not like strategy four, but at least you're getting another strategy. You may want to be a trend follower. You may like uh, using the pet D with them. There's different options. This all comes into play when we say you have to be a part of the process. See, we're giving you these different options so that you can decide. If we were like so many other presenters, we would say, this is the way you trade it, this is it, and stick to this each and every time, no matter what the market conditions are, no matter what the environment is, no matter what the market or time frame you're looking at. Once again, that's a recipe for disaster. I can't think of a better way to lose money because markets are always changing, they're evolving, they're like a river. Sometimes a river has very strong current, very high rapids. Other times it's shallow like a pond, it's not moving. You have to be able to adjust. As your mentor, I'm giving you different ways in which to adjust. But ultimately, you're going to have to make your decision. Remember, as I stated, you must first learn, want to learn how to be taught in order to become successful. In the beginning, I didn't want to be learned to be taught. So I stuck to my same standards of trading. I waited for the news announcements to come. I waited for a perfect system. And after a couple of months, I saw, you know what? I'm losing more and more money. Finally, I gave in to my mentors and I said, okay, I'm ready to learn. And then they started teaching me these things, which were basically stripping away all the things I had learned before. But I'm so thankful because once I did that, I started to learn the things which I feel have sustained me for the last four decades. So hopefully you will be able to sustain your trading for four decades as well. Uh, let's see, Sundar is asking, uh, does the Petty works on only the PTS Primo charting tool? No, we have add-ons. If, if you uh, only have an, uh, uh, another charting platform, you can apply it to something else. But it works, the best. it's the simplest applied with the P PTS Primo charts because uh, all the examples you just saw were by using the PTS charting platform, and which is something I'm very happy I've developed with ProTrader Strategies. I didn't talk about it a lot today, but every example you saw was simply by using the PTS uh, charting platform. And all you have to do is click on pet D and it's automatically there. All you have to do is click on uh, strategy indicator arrows and they're automatically there. It's that simple, okay? It's a little bit different if you have a different uh, charting platform, all right? Amika asks, in flat markets, do the strategies give signals only when the trend is about to start or give conflicting signals until the right one appears? Um, it depends because, you know, there are different levels of flat markets. And, you know, we showed you some flat markets in Yahoo and then another one in BCR where signals were generated. So it all depends. Remember, it, it, this is not something that is like a system where it's going to be the same answer each and every time. It depends on what the market is telling you. Now, we always suggest that all of our traders first paper trade because that way they'll learn what to look for and what not. And also you'll learn what style you want to trade. Okay. I have on a daily basis, so many traders asking me, well, Steve, uh, I thought I'm supposed to enter here or why, why is this a signal? I don't understand, you know, because they're looking at it as if this is a system. Remember the standard benchmark generates the signals, but it's up to you how you want to enter. It's up to you, which exit level you want to use. It's up to you, which, uh, uh, uh stop loss you want to use. And it's up to you whether you want to take the trade or not. There's no system that says you have to take it. So you, for the first time, have to be in charge of your trading. But I'll be with, there with you every step of the way, okay? So to answer your question, you know, you have to explore and see. It's been my feeling that many times it will stay out of some flat sideways markets, but other times these strategies will generate some great signals. So it's up to you to decide 
what to look for and what you're going to stay out of. But this only comes through practice and through paper trading. OK, as I stated, contact pro trader strategies. If you're interested at all in taking your trading to the next level, they will work with you. You, you know, we realize that coming up with forty four ninety five may be too much for some people, but you can always set up a payment plan. For a small deposit, you can be up and running and be in the classes, which are going to be starting in the following weeks. And they're live classes, so you don't want to miss them. So this is going to be a great opportunity to take your trading to the next level. If you like to trade other markets, don't worry. These strategies can be applied to other markets. So this great way to learn and to really be a part of the process for the very first time. If you've been struggling, if you're about ready to throw in the towel because nothing's working, this is your last chance to learn the secrets from a stock specialist. These are the same things that have sustained my trading for 40 years. Hopefully they'll be able to sustain your trading. OK, in conclusion, I want to thank you all so much for attending. Remember, contact Pro Trader Strategies. There's no obligation at all. You can call them and set up a payment plan or get more information. But remember, anything with pricing or discounts, contact them and they'll take care of it for you and they'll, they'll answer any question you may have, okay? And anything also with the PTS Primo charting platform, they can uh, also answer questions for that. Thank you so much for attending today. I hope you got something out of this. I hope you learned a little bit and go back and do your research. But remember, in order to take advantage of the class, which is gonna start shortly, you have to uh, take action very, very soon. Thanks so much for attending. I look forward to all of you becoming students and members of mine in the new Elite Stock Trading course. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.